Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna talk a little about my long wings. I'm gonna take a break from the boots. Uh, I've mentioned before how I like to buy things in twos and figure out which one I like the most. Well, that's exactly what happened in this case. Um, I was looking for high quality long wings. I noticed that some of my buddies, they were buying the, the long wing blue, bluchers and I was surprised by how quickly they jumped after these because to be honest I was never a wingtip guy I just to be to be perfectly honest I always kind of felt they were kind of an old man shoe I always felt like they were a shoe that I'd see the doctor wearing when I'd go for a doctor's visit but nobody my age really wore wingtips so I was never ever drawn to these at all I never wore a pair of wingtips before these I just didn't feel like I could identify very well with the wingtip if that makes any sense so, so uh, I noticed that with my friends, them, they started wearing them with uh, one buddy in particular. He had these ones from J. Crew, the calfskin long wings in, in calfskin, tan calfskin leather. And I noticed, wow, they looked just beautiful with a, with a charcoal or a navy suit. so good so much better than like a black standard dress shoe I mean they, they just popped and they didn't just pop they looked just so good browsing on the internet it was I was definitely eyeing the makeups from J crew I just trusted J crew in their selections I thought that J crew they, they don't have a lot of all in makeups but the ones that they do have seem to be very carefully selected by a very um, talented stylist. Uh, so, so I trusted J. Crew. Whatever, basically, whatever J. Crew was throwing in their style guides, I was like, "This is good stuff. This is I want to follow along the lines of what they're putting out." And I decided to try these out. So I ordered these. these this pair is from Union Made. there in San Francisco and it, they have a lot of outstanding Alden makeups like I couldn't believe their selection and especially when I saw these this pair this is a leather called Alpine Green I realize I gush over <laughs> leather a lot but look at this is that not just the most beautiful leather you've ever seen in your life I know I say that a lot but look at look at the texture in that and I, and I did some research too. I found out that they achieve this texture with a stamp. This is not a natural grain of a leather you're gonna find anywhere. They, they put a stamp down on it, a large stamp, and that and they leave it there for a while, and that, that brings out this nice alpine grain texture. And, and if I'm not mistaken, and maybe some of you Alden experts out there could comment, in Shell Cordovan, I believe this color would be known as Ravello. Ravello is like a reddish, color this is my theory anyways after you know looking at thousands and thousands of pairs of Aldens whatever color they offer their their shell cordovan in you know especially those rare colors like Ravello whiskey cigar they also I believe use the same colors on their calf skin uh, again all Alden enthusiasts correct me but so I ordered both of these the same time and they both came in how are you gonna shoot seriously you get both of these and yeah you realize you're gonna have to send one of these back <laughs> I ended up keeping both you know of course they've been worn hundreds of times I wear these mostly with suits <laughs> going back to the J. Crew style guide I noticed that in a couple of their style guides they showed models wearing uh, a lot of you might think this is weird, and I did too at first, but then I tried it. Wearing shorts with wingtips. I decided, yes, I'm going to give this a try. Because the more I looked at it, the more I actually liked it. The more I, 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 I broke out of my own element, and I thought, why wouldn't that work? Again, I'm constantly challenging the idea of why can't I do this? What? You know, like kind of like the bottom button roll. Kind of, they say, "Oh, always unbutton your bottom button." Wow. 
bottom button. Well, why? What's it there for? Though it seems to be a rule nobody questions or challenges. But but when it's cold out, guess what? All my buttons are buttoned, and I am not. Could not be less embarrassed about that. I Just, there are certain things that about the style rules I find ridiculous and I think it's important to sort of challenge those rules and, and to kind of ask yourself really you know does this actually work you know and so so I went ahead and I started wearing both of these with shorts and uh, I gotta tell you I loved it now I wasn't wearing the shorts with a t-shirt I was wearing the shorts with a polo shirt so it'd be the polo shirt with the collar um, or a button-up, you know, the shorts I'm wearing are good linen shorts. Uh, I believe they're uh, J. Crew uh, linen from from Ireland. Really nice, really nice linen. I throw these on with no-show socks, and I gotta say, you know, I see pictures of guys wearing loafers with shorts, and sneakers with shorts, and running shoes with shorts, and everything with shorts, why the heck can't I throw on some wingtips with shorts? There's no rule that I read anywhere that said I couldn't do that. Doing it. I had some friends criticize me to know and they're like, dude, that's gonna look ridiculous. I decided to keep doing it. It's comfortable. These are they're literally 80,000 times more comfortable than sandals. Any sandal you can buy. These beat that because this is, these are Alden soles. Alden antique leather soles. And I love, I love the way they look and I love especially on a hot summer day, I could still get away with rocking some Aldens. You know, some days are just so hot, you don't want to throw on boots. Okay, that's kind of a lie. I want to wear boots every day all the time. Uh, but uh, some days where I thrown on shorts, guess what? I got some pairs to work with. If I could get away with wearing good handmade shoes all the time, I do. The, the only time I wear sneakers is to run. That's that's literally it. The, the only time you'll catch me in a pair of Nikes is to run. That's me, that's my own personal style. I know a lot of guys like to wear sneakers with a lot of things, suits and stuff, but to me, this stuff, I just prefer it. I, I like it, I love it. I love looking down at it as I'm walking, as I'm sitting, as I'm just going through the day. I love having a quality piece of heritage to look down at. It's, it's just a good aesthetics. To me, I feel like it's there's something therapeutic. Actually, I didn't know the difference between long wings and, and short wings, but these are long wings. And they're long wings because, and probably most of you know this already, the, the wings go all the way long, all the way long. They don't dip on a short wing. The, these wings just dip down and stop. And then they might have another um, perforated uh, sort of heel cap that cuffs back here. But I really like this look of the long wing. Uh, I believe some Alden stores call this the gunboat shoe, <laughs> which uh, hell yeah, killer name. Love the name. It's, it's these are good to have in your arsenal. These aren't something that I want to wear every day, all the time, in every occasion. I don't want to live in these like I want to live in my indie boots or I want to live in, you know, certain certain boots. Like it's like oh, I could I could easily see myself never taking these off, and I'd be okay with that. These these are more I use them more sparingly, but I love them nonetheless. Uh, very important piece to have in your wardrobe. I have I have worn these with with jeans on occasion. Again, I don't like wearing like super dressy shoes with jeans. I think that looks kind of, I don't know, it's just just not me. Uh, but but these actually pop fairly nicely with denim. Like it, you do a nice pair of selvage denim, you do some no-show no -show socks, throw these on with a polo. That's, that's the kicker. Got it. If I'm gonna wear these, I'm gonna have a collared shirt on, period. Uh, there's going to be no wingtips with me and just a t-shirt or just a, a Henley shirt or just a crew neck, anything. No, there has to be, 100%, there has to be a, a collar involved somewhere <laughs> in, the, in the outfit. Otherwise, these are a no-go. Different shops call the leathers different things, and sometimes I'm just not, I'm not up to speed on it. Um, so yeah, so J. Crew calls these this color tobacco. 
but anywhere else you'll see it as tan and it's literally it's the same stuff it's not different stuff it's this is tan calfskin leather used by Alden very sturdy I will say that just like my Alden 405s are just super super sturdy in that calfskin these exhibit the same exact qualities these definitely are so I mean look you don't hardly see any creasing on these because they're just that sturdy sturdy calfskin and I never thought that calfskin would be so so durable and strong but it is really strong stuff I thought oh calf oh that's that's got to be like a you know a delicate leather oh I better baby it no quite the opposite calf is so strong it's it's stronger than chrome excel um, chrome excel bends and it stretches and it it takes on all kinds of really cool characteristics, and I love Chrome XL, but CAF is just just a step below shell cord on, in my opinion. It's, it's really durable stuff. So I looked up the description for these, the Alpine Grain Leather, and found absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> they just call it Alpine Grain Leather, and that's about all they have to say about that, folks. I mean, the color <laughs> the color and the texture speaks for itself. That, that Maybe if some of you guys out there know, maybe you could uh, uh, shed some light in the comments below. Um, so it says these bluchers, bluchers, <laughs> are handcrafted and hand stained and shine to a rich luster. They feature all of Alden's hallmark details, including its famed Goodyear welt, which means you can resole them again and again for a lifetime of wear. To be sure that they last, you can send them back to Alden for resoling anytime. You know that uh, 16 reviews on these, but it's it's five out of five stars, and everybody is like seriously raving about about these the verse the versatility, how well they're crafted, uh, just a good investment. Like, And I, I agree, if you were gonna own one pair of long wings, I would say go for these. The, these are just so versatile, and I'm telling you, they kick off a navy suit, a charcoal suit, especially a charcoal suit. Gray, any gray suit with this, just, it, it just, uh, it's immaculate. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you found it informative. Hopefully maybe it opened up a couple of uh, ideas in your head with how to rock wingtips, you know, in, in new settings. Because, <laughs> you know, I have this stuff. I want to wear it. I want to use it. It's, I didn't get it for just to look pretty in my shelf. I want to I wanna implement it into my lifestyle. And, and I feel like I've done that with the shorts and the suits and all that. So... Again, leave any comments, and again, I'm on Instagram. Uh, you can see how these have aged. My, my username's AeroSurferLV, and, uh, and feel free to follow me and, and check these out, how, how they've uh, evolved over the years. Uh, again, I've had them about at least three years, I think.